In January of 2009, the Configure Worm was spreading like wildfire across the internet. It spread itself by guessing weak administrative credentials on the endpoints, and it also spread by using the auto-run features on our USB that was automatically executed when the USB was inserted. 2009 was also the era that we learned that governments had been participating in cyber warfare. China had hacked Google in what became known as the Operation Aurora attacks. We saw high-profile accounts on Twitter get hacked, such as that of then-President Barack Obama. That same year, we learned that Heartland payment systems had been compromised, exposing millions of credit card numbers and debit card numbers. 2009 was a very good year for hackers. And it's during this year that Doug Burks, a security professional with a passion for network security, released his free and open tool called Security Onion. Security Onion is a free and open platform built by defenders for defenders. It gives you visibility into both the network traffic and the endpoints on your system. It includes intrusion detection through Suricata, Zeek, and others, and it provides visibility into the endpoints with Elastic Agent. Security Onion has been downloaded more than 2 million times and used to secure environments all across the world. It's widely used by both small and large organizations for network security monitoring, intrusion detection, and incident response. Join me, Mark Baggett, on today's episode of the InfoSec Toolshed as we hear Doug Burks tell the story of how Security Onion came to be. I met Doug Barks when he was hired as the lead network defender at a company I was the chief information security officer for. Doug was exceptionally skilled as a network defender and extremely resourceful. Our employer paid for him to attend one SANS class, and then he used a program that SANS was offering that allowed you to take a class, mentor a class, and then get a free training voucher to turn that one class into a half a dozen SANS classes and a half a dozen certifications, and eventually get the SANS GSE certification. When I left the company, Doug was the obvious successor for Chief Information Security Officer, but that didn't last very long as Richard Baitlick quickly snatched him up and made him the Deputy Chief Information Security Officer at Mandian. At Mandian, Doug really got to see the impact of poor security practices on a large number of organizations. And it was here, while at Mandian, that he decided to found Security Onion Solutions. Many organizations across the globe use Security Onion to defend their network. While the product itself is free, if you find you need some training on the product or some specialized hardware to run that product, then Doug and Security Onion Solutions have everything you need. Security Onion all started with an idea that Doug had to invest his time and energy into to turn it into the product that we all know and use today. And now, here to tell us the story of the creation of Security Onion is its creator, Doug Burks. Well, thank you, Mark, for having me on your show, and uh, it's a great Privilege and honor to hang out with my good friend, Mark Baggett, who uh, helped me get started in the world of information security. And so our, our story kind of goes back to uh, 2008 and when Mark and I were working together and, um, you know, at the same time I was kind of going through the, the SANS program of taking SANS classes and doing SANS certifications and it was really kind of the, the culmination of a lot of those factors that went into uh, starting this Security Onion platform. So uh, one thing was, you know, I'm, I'm a network defender. I love, you know, figuring out new and exciting ways of uh, monitoring and defending enterprises, catching bad guys as quickly as possible. And, um, you know, so I, what I saw out there was a bunch of free and open source utilities, individual components that were pretty powerful, but there, there really wasn't like one single overarching platform. So for example, you know, back in 2008, there was this thing called Backtrack Linux, which is now called Kali Linux. And uh, it's, you know, a red teamers delight, a red teamers playground, because it's got all of the favorite red team and attack tools already compiled, already configured, already ready to go. You just download the ISO image and you're good to go. And so, you know, I kind of thought to myself, you know, it's, it's fundamentally unjust that attackers and red teamers 
have this great red team tool set, but there's not really the same equivalent for us blue teamers. And so, you know, this, this kind of started my gears turning as to, you know, how can we, how can we solve uh, and improve this unbalanced equation and give some advantage back to the defenders? And as I mentioned before, I was, I was kind of working through SANS classes and certifications at the time. And uh, so as part of that, I needed to do a, a research paper for SANS. So I started thinking about possible research paper topics. And uh, about this time, there was this thing called SNORT SP. So folks are familiar with SNORT. It's been around for a long time. They were in the, the process of coming up with kind of the next generation version of SNORT, which was at that time called SNORT SP. Nowadays, it's called SNORT 3.0. Um, but I decided that it was uh, a great opportunity to write this SANS research paper uh, on kind of a free and open platform for defenders, for blue teamers that included Snort SP and included Squeal. It included a bunch of other tools for network security monitoring uh, because I had, I had been on the mailing list for Snort and for Squeal and all of these individual components for several years and kind of watching folks really kind of struggle with the basics of how do I run dot slash configure and make and make install and figure out all these dependencies and get these components just to compile cleanly before they ever even get to the real job of defending their environments. And so again, it was fundamentally unjust when you think about, you know, a defender spending sometimes days, sometimes weeks, sometimes months just compiling their tool set and getting it ready to actually monitor and defend, whereas an attacker can just download an ISO image and, and go. And so that's really all of those kind of forces were kind of coming together uh, for me to build this free and open Security Onion platform that included really the best of breed open source tools for network monitoring is really the focus where it started back then. And, and over the years, it's kind of grown into something much larger. But so I, I put together this platform. Um, I started building it in 2008, released the first version in 2009, and put out my, my research paper for SANS as well. And so, you know, I, when you when you put something out there on the internet, you kind of wonder like, is anybody going to download this? Is anybody going to care? I didn't have a million downloads overnight, but it's one of those things where, you know, I continued to iterate on it. I continued to seek input from folks that did download it and improve upon the design. And, you know, over time, we've, we've grown from what was originally just a network security monitoring platform, primarily focused on collecting traffic from a tap or span port, generating your uh, NIDS alerts using Snort. Uh, along the way, we added Suricata. And, you know, we, we kind of progressed from there to, um, you know, not just create those alerts, but the question with NIDS alerts is always, well, you have an alert. What now? What do you do with that alert? And so, you know, we've steadily grown the platform to help you answer that question of what happened after that alert fired and what happened before the alert fire? What, what led up to that actual alert? So we've surrounded the alerts with full packet capture. We've surrounded the alerts with protocol metadata. And of course, nowadays, as more and more of our network traffic becomes encrypted, that network visibility may be some sort of a, a blind spot. And so we've, we've really kind of progressed into endpoint visibility, uh, gathering endpoint logs and bringing those back and doing log management as well. So it's, it's really now a, a, a large enterprise platform that you can run your entire security operations center off of because it's giving you that network visibility, that endpoint visibility, log management, case management. You can do all of your incident response, everything from one platform. And, um, you know, so from, from 2008 to 2023, 
You know, it's, it's been a lot of uh, continual improvements to the platform, listening to our community, listening to our, our customers and, and gradually improving the product to make it enterprise grade and, and enable defenders to kind of take back that advantage from the red team and from the attackers that are out there. So that's, that's kind of the, the, the quick overview of, of our platform for the past 15 years. If you enjoyed this episode of the InfoSec Toolshed, then please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, click that notification bell to be the first to find out when new episodes are released. You can follow me on x.com at Mark Baggett, and I'll be announcing new episodes and future interviews there. If you'd like to see the full interview where I ask Doug lots of other questions, then you can find a link to the full uncut interview in the show notes. Special thanks to our sponsor, SANS SEC 573, Automating Information Security with Python, written by me, Mark Baggett. If you already know Python, but like to see how to apply those skills to information security projects in offense, defense, and forensics, then come spend a week with me in SANS SEC 573. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here on our next exciting episode.